Welcome back to my channel. I am Jennifer. I am happy to have you today. We are going to do something that um, I should have done a long time ago, but I haven't done. Um, I'm going to give you a house tour. This house we have been in for two and a half years. It's a new build. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, but before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to my channel. I make videos weekly on saving money, minimalism, and mindfulness. And if that, any of that interests you, then please hit the subscribe button down below and come back for more videos. So we've been in this house for about two and a half years. It is a new build. It is a ranch style home. Um, now I do talk a little bit about my minimalism journey on my channel and we purchased this house before I ever knew what that word was. Um, and we did a lot of the decorating before I ever knew what that word was. But I did two years ago, after about six months in, I, I found out about minimalism. And since then, basically stopped. I, I, I like how it turned out, how it ended up. Now, would we have purchased this home in particular if I had thought differently at that time i don't know i absolutely love this home and this is the house that i talk about on my channel that we are paying off of our off our mortgage um, by the year of 2025 so we will have had our mortgage for seven years at that point and we'll have paid it off so i'm going to take you through and show you some things i'm going to tell you where some things are from whether or not you can get them or not i have no clue but maybe they'll give you a little bit of inspiration um, keep in mind I do not like to purchase a lot of home decor. I like for the house to be more open and clean. And this is a very open floor plan. It is 2,100 square feet. Again, it's a ranch style. It is three bedrooms and three baths. Um, my husband and I have one child and are only ever going to have one child. With that in mind, we chose this floor plan and customized it from there. Now, it is not a custom home. It is by a builder and we were able to modify slightly the uh, design of the uh, home choosing three bathrooms versus two and where they went, etc. Um, that was one of their options. And then we went into a design studio to pick out everything else. So um, with that said, I will show you around. So this is our front door. I'm not gonna show you the exterior of our home um, as far as the front goes, but our house is a ranch style. The color of it is, um, I will come over here to the window and show you. It is a, um, a blue color with white trim. And for some reason, I really like blue, and I've liked blue for about, gosh, 13 years now I've used it in my decorating. But this is our foyer. We did really want a lot of molding, so we went with crown molding and the picture molding and the chair rail. Um, now, I haven't done a lot to this foyer. I kind of still do. This is a table we... Um, was for it was free um it was given to me and it actually folds out to make like these leaves fold out and if you needed extra seating you could utilize it there i'm thinking about honestly whitewashing it because it is just not my style in particular and i want a kind of an antique mirror on this side but that's really all i want to do and again this has been sitting here for two and a half years i just haven't felt the need um, to do anything until I find something I love. Um, this rug I loved and I actually wanted it in the bigger size for our living room behind me but chose a different one. So I went ahead and got it by a 3x5 uh, rug and this is from Pottery Barn. Um, I absolutely love it. It's got all the tones. I am a cool tone person. I wear cool tones. I don't like warm tones. Um, now our floor is more of a rustic color I love it because it has a um, it has it doesn't have yellow the the yellow red uh, wood in it so it's, it it pulls some gray it does pull some brown but it, it blends now our wall colors um, we chose agreeable gray now the cool thing about agreeable gray depending upon the light or what's around it it will pull beige or it will pull gray it pulls either but it's a great neutral and it does pop against the um, chair railing and you'll see here and the trim and the chair railing are Sherwin Williams snowbound so again here's the foyer and it's a very open kind of a plan and then I'll take you to our dining room so this is an overall view of our dining room 
and I'll tell you a little bit about everything. So our dining table we uh, brought with us from the old house. Um, now we never utilized the leaf um, before, but because this room is so much bigger um, and it has a very nice size room, we put the leaf in it and now we previously just had these four chairs here, um, but it is a pedestal table, which I love. I still love it. Um, when we bought it, 10 years ago, we got it with, we customized it with this finish, which was more like, I think they call it like hammered, where it's got some imperfections. And we did that for a reason. We knew we were gonna have a child or children and we wanted to make sure that that child or ch children beat it up, it still looked good. So when we brought it to this new house and we wanted to expand it, we decided to go ahead and um, buy two additional chairs. So we went to Bassett, and you'll see that's where we got a lot of our furniture. Um, and we decided to do two head tape head chairs. We chose this um, pattern because, again, it pulls cool tone, but it actually goes very well with the rest of the colors in the house. And we customized it with this hammered nail finished. And you'll see in the living room how this fur this blends with the other furniture. Um, I spent hours in the Bassett Design Studio because this is something that we're gonna have for a very long time. I wanted it to be classic, I wanted it to blend, I wanted it to be able to, if we for whatever reason moved again, came with us. Um, and I still love it two and a half years later. Now we just bought or, or chose the fixtures that were, they came in a package. So what, is this the fixture I would have picked? Not necessarily, but it still kind of works. Now everything else in this room was um, hand-me-downs and is very dear, near and dear to my heart. Um, but you do see that we also lined the entire room with the chair picture railing and then we also have the molding. So if I step back a little bit, you'll see how open this is. I'm going into the kitchen. Um, You'll see there kind of how that works out. I love how open it is. So over here, this is a china hutch that was belonged to my father's, my husband's um, grandmother who has passed and um, I love it. Now, um, do I love the red wood? I did at one point, that's why I got this table. So when I was given the opportunity to be given this, gifted this piece, I took it and I love it. Would I? necessarily design with all these colors again no, I don't know and you know it does but it doesn't bother me I'm as as a minimalist now it is what it is and I still love it and I think that's part of the thing when you're designing something or when you are when you're looking at these furniture this furniture this these pieces don't just get something that's on trend um, get something that means something to you because that's you know that's more important now does it mean something to me that if it got broken or ruined that I would cry about it? No, because look, um, <laughs> this is something we added to it. My daughter did, where the chair just came back and you know scratched it right up. Um, but that's something that I'll be able to tell her when she's 30 years old. Look what you did to, to your grandmother's touch. I displayed our wedding china, which again, if I had known about minimalism before, <laughs> Over 10 years ago when I got married, I would not have um, registered for. I have never used any of these, but they look pretty. These are little houses here that, uh, again, are collectible that were gifted to me. So, um, I love this one. <laughs> you can put little candles in them, like the, the, the roofs come off, but they're some sort of artist, anywho. But there's like this little like witch-looking thing that's she's kind of fallen down like the wicked witch i don't know what what this is about but i love these what is that jennifer okay well we don't have a big pantry that is one of the downfalls of this plan and as you guys know it's 2020 and um you just never know when you're going to need something so this is our stockpile and i'm not ashamed something happens and you guys need some beans or rice I head on over um this so this piece here is probably from about 1960 something um this piece here i believe is from now 1940 it's my husband's great grandmother's piece from what i understand and it's a writing desk um and we have had it refinished i won't pull this out but because it sometimes it gets stuck but it folds down and becomes a writing desk like there's a little leather thing inside of there 
this is where I honestly hide a lot of little things. Uh, candles, the few decorations I do have. I hide gifts in here, um, but it means a lot to me. I will always have this piece. Um, you know, it looks antique. It's not everybody's style, but with the two pieces, it works well. Now, throughout the entire house, one of the best things we did was plantation shutters. I am obsessed with them, and overall, I think it makes the house. Um, my favorite thing is that you do not need to do curtains. Curtains just look too much to me. Um, I don't like putting holes in the wall if I don't need to. You'll see there's no wall to decor in here besides the picture of my wedding um, and the mirror, and I love it. All right, we'll go to the living room, and I'll kind of speed up because I don't want this video to be too long. But this is a very big room. And very uh, coffered ceiling. I think that's what they call this, but that's the coffered. That's the coffered ceiling. And um, we pretty much modeled. There was a model home that we saw, and we went in, and they had two couches and two chairs, and we really enjoyed that. But then we have this big, huge, long wall, and I thought, Ooh, what do I do? I found a wood builder, custom guy, and I had this piece. I designed it based off of um, different Pinterest things that I liked. And I am obsessed with how it turned out. I just bumped into something um, in the overall scheme. And you can see our back doors there that also have the shutters. So we chose two couches and you see that hammered nail design and it's a very sleek design, but also the colors match the lighter color on that chair fabric there. So we chose two of those. It took me forever to find this rug um, I went to a local rug store and it is a 9 by 12. The best thing about this storage unit is look what it hides. All the toys and all the stuff. And when decorating the shelves, I, I had a little bit of a hard time, but what I decided to do was go with a lot of things that, again, were handed down to me or that I really loved. So, the few pieces that I did purchase, I got some books, and you'll see those here, and just a tip, a frugal tip when decorating that um, Goodwill and um, used bookstores. And so I just went and got books that were kind of the colors that I was looking for. And we have our TV. We have two TVs in this house. So I also found these lamps on Wayfair and flanked the uh, entertainment center. But again, I had this built because I couldn't find anything online that looked built in um and really fit what i liked and it's this is substantial it's a substantial piece that will be here forever um and then there's a part one of my daughter's toys we do have our daughter's toys throughout the house um we try to you know keep them put away as much as possible but we don't want them all shoved in her room because we want her to play with us and that's the per per point and purpose of why we bought such an open floor plan and you'll see again the dining room, the kitchen, the living room, it all kind of goes together. Um, one of the things my husband really wanted was um, recliners. So these are actually recliners. So we chose this fabric. Again, the fabric goes with everything. I was very particular because I don't want to change it out ever again, maybe. Here are our back doors. Those two doors right there will open up. This is the main door. And we do have a covered patio. There's our dog Howie's bed, blue. <laughs> And our daughter's kitchen, next to our kitchen. She loves this. Again, you see, nothing on the wall. But really, you know, with as far as decorations, I don't necessarily need anything. Now, when we eventually move this, and she doesn't use it anymore, we'll see what happens. So, then I'll talk about the kitchen. Um, these bar stools, there are four. I really only needed three, but I ended up buying four. Um, You'll see I, I custom designed all this too. Chose With Bassett, you get to choose basically everything. You choose the color of the wood, um, you know, what kind of leg style you want. And we chose to go with a plain back right here just to blend more. And then we went with the same fabric that you'll see on those chairs over there uh, on the front. As far as our kitchen goes, we chose white cabinets. And this... Um, we chose a different color island and it's called storm and it really blends well it picks up kind of this darker brown color in the floor 
And the granite, would I pick this granite again? No, it's just very common. I really wanted quartz, but the cost of it at the time. And yep, there are dishes in the sink, so go ahead, say what you want. This was the one thing that I had to have in this house, which was a farm sink. I love this farm sink. This is our pantry, and I've done a couple of videos on showing you this, but we have the, um, what do you call this? What's the name of it? Uh, shelf Genie. We had them custom put shelving in here because it's just not otherwise a usable pantry like this. I would love a walk-in pantry, but wasn't an option here. So we went with this kind of cool toned gray backsplash. We've got the cooktop. One of the other features that we did was soft closing drawers because my husband loved in our previous house. Well, they soft close when there's not things that get stuck. Um, see, <laughs> he loved to slam doors. This is our home tracker uh, payoff. So we are about to be below 220, I believe. Yeah, no, oh. below, yeah, below 220. Um, and then when we get up here, so this is what we are planning from the house, which again, we, I've told you before, we paid 345 and we will be below, we will have it paid off um, before 2025. Um, this is our Maytag fridge, which I love and I would highly recommend because look, no fingerprints. If you're going to buy stainless steel these days, guys, get the stainless steel that doesn't show fingerprints. And then I just have this little table because I noticed that my husband was dropping stuff over here. Um, this little side table from Wayfair that we put things in here kind of worked. And then I made these um, kind of punch boards that we just put reminders on, we put our menu on because we meal plan. And basically I just took four cork boards, uh, got some burlap and then put these little nail heads in. And this, um, they are really expensive from ba um, I think Ballard Designs and um, I think Pottery Barn has something similar. So I just made those myself. My husband loved these lights. We chose those lights there. So I just wanted to come back here and I'll show you another overview of the living area. This back here is considered a morning room and I think most people used it as like a breakfast room. Uh, we decided to use it as an office slash playroom. So again, you'll see all the shutters and then I don't like that light, but you know what? It does, it works just fine, so I'll keep it. And then you'll again see I chose kind of a, a cream and gray rug for my daughter to play around in. And there's the one cluttered part of our house. Um, you'll see all these cactuses. Um, we've kind of gotten a cactus. Two of those are a, a, a gift for Christmas or for a birthday, so ignore those. But those aloe plants have gotten out of control. Um, but they're good to have in case you get a burn. And we chose this desk and that credenza back there are both from Bassett as well. And then the chair, I think I got from Steinmart forever ago. And then here's more of my daughter's stuff. <laughs> so we try to keep it combined or, or, or not combined, um, contained. And this is typically where her teepee goes, but when we clean the house, we always remove the teepee um, and we just haven't put it back yet. Eventually, when she grows out of this stage, we're going to move the desk forward, put a rug more um, fully the, the other way, the instead of horizontal, uh, vertical, and then I'll take the chair from her room and bring it in here and put a table so it'll be more of a library office space. So this is our master bedroom. It's not huge. By American standards, I guess. By other people's standards, it is. But um, this is also furniture we chose from Bassett. We chose this antique white color, or actually it's really the bright white color, with the black handles. Um, I found this bedding at Bed Bath & Beyond on sale. Love it. I have still not chosen to put anything above the bed. Um, I don't know that I ever will because, again, it feels finished to me and I don't like clutter. Um, you'll see again, I don't like things that just sit out on counters. We have a sound machine here. We got used to that. This is our second TV, which we never watch, um, hardly. But if my daughter's, uh, we want to cuddle in bed for some reason, we'll, we will come in here and watch that. I do have this mirror here um, that we got from, I think, Home Goods, just to add to the corner. And here you'll see our lamps. These came from Thomasville and they match 
perfectly with this blue color that I love. And we do have ceiling fans in all the house, or throughout the, all the bedrooms and in the living room. We did a tray ceiling in here that goes into our bathroom, which is one of my favorite places. Um, I love it. Move this. It is a frameless shower. Doors open right now. We went with kind of a, a beigey color tile and then this accent tile here. And then there's not a linen closet in this house to be found. Um, that's another complaint. So pantry and linen closet, not here. But that's fine because that just leads you to more clutter. Really, you only need two towels per person. Um, and then there's our bathtub. And the one decoration that I do have in this house or in this bathroom is this. There is my husband's side. We again went with a crown molding in here and you'll again see everything is still the agreeable gray. Um, and then my side here, which is larger. And we did a framed um, mirror, mirror, <laughs> I can talk. Down here we did the brick pattern tile with, it's kind of a, a longer tile. And I believe this is called a limestone, which means it's not, doesn't, it's not as cold as regular porcelain, I guess. And then in here is our closet, which I've showed you before. The toilet, you know, it is what it is. So that's our bathroom. Now on this side of the house is where we go to the garage here, um, our coat closet, and then our laundry room, which we have the Maytag washer and dryer. We love those as well. And you can see we buy in bulk. I would love to have a little mud drop area, but I don't, and it's probably better that I don't because that just leads to more clutter as well. And then this is our guest bedroom. So we again, three bedrooms. Now this is the bed that has traveled with me for a very long time. My brother built this bed for me um, when I was 21. It's about 16 years old. It is metal, solid metal. He literally did all this by hand. Um, this was the first one he built, I believe. And uh, I designed it with him. Uh, I wanted, it kind of looks like an abacus a little bit. Um, so he literally, I mean, this was, this was a piece, this was a piece, this is all, um, you know, uh, metal. And he is a, was a welder. Um, he can still weld, but he's much higher up now. Um, we have not put a thing on the walls in here and I don't want to, it's, it's the guest bedroom. Um, I don't feel a need to, I feel like the plantation shutters help. Um, I did find this table, which I love, and it's more of, you'll see it's a little low, it's more of a table that's meant for a area with like a chair beside of it. Um, so eventually I might move that into the playroom I talked to you about um, with my daughter's chair in there as a side table, but this lamp we got at Home Goods, and I love it. You can see the blue color once again. But blue and white is what I went with in here. And then we have our guest bath, which I always wanted a pink bathroom. So I did a pink bathroom. Oh, just in case you're missing, need some toilet paper, don't come over. You're not running away with my toilet paper. This is where we keep our extra toilet paper and our paper towels that we can't shove because we have a lot. I just ran into the wall under here. I was going to frame out these mirrors, but it just didn't work out. I tried to do it myself as a DIY and it didn't work. So anyway, we went with the pink color in here. Those are two shower curtain rods, but these are regular curtains that I got, probably TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and they have this almost um, iridescence pearly color, white. And then I found these on sale at Dillard's. So the sparkle kind of goes together and I do plan on maybe putting something on this wall because there's nothing on this wall or in this bathroom on the wall, um, but I just haven't found anything I loved and I'm not gonna put anything in here that I don't love. You know how difficult it was to find white bath rugs? I don't know why, but it was very difficult. Um, these white rugs here, not difficult per se, meaning I have to have non-slip rugs. There's nothing worse than a rug that doesn't have the Rippers on it. Not safe when you have a child. We went with the 24 by 24 diagonal tiles in here. Again, everything kind of matches. It's cool tones with just a hint of warm tone. This is my daughter's room, which I have done a nursery tour when it was a nursery. So I'll give you a little overview. This is her room. I am jealous. <laughs> Did not have this myself as a child. 
Um, this it was originally her rocker and we got that before she was born and um, it also was from Bassett. You can't get this anymore, um, but it came with the option to change it to feet. So we have changed it into the feet. So it's stationary, but we can always change it back to a rocker and it is very neutral um, beige and white color. This puff, which is my footstool, used to be put together, but it's not any longer. <laughs> this rug, we had um, kind of this way when her crib was over here. You can see that um, video on my channel. And I love this rug. It's just the cutest. Now, the reason we got a rug was in our old house, we found out that when right here we had her changing table on her uh, dresser, we really wore a spot in the carpet so we had this turn so that we didn't mess up this carpet and i didn't even talk about the carpet the carpet is in all the bedrooms only and it is a a gray cast color basically but that is her bed she's got a full bed and that was originally her crib it's uh, convertible it changed from crib to um what do you call that toddler bed and now we have it into her big girl bed and she has the shutters as well she also has a ceiling fan. This is her dresser and her mirror, which I am obsessed with this mirror. It's my favorite mirror of all time. It's almost an antiqued um, chrome silver. I love it. And then her books again. This lamp she got for her first birthday. It is from Pottery Barn Kids. I love it. It's got this acrylic base and this ceramic elephant. My daughter is lucky enough to have an ensuite bathroom. It's one of the options and we, we haven't picked, I haven't found a shower curtain for this bathroom yet, but we took the theme from her old nursery and brought it into here. So we didn't know if she was a boy or a girl. Um, we just waited to find out when she was born and decided to do an ocean theme. So when we came over from my last house, I just brought the pieces that we had from there and I added, I put her little wood dolphin there. And then I found these towels and um, hand towels at Ross, which were perfect. So I kind of want to go with maybe a pink um, stripe color just to bring out the girly for a shower curtain. And she still has the window there. And then her little cabinet. And here's the other print that was in her nursery. As you can see so we just brought the ocean theme over here so that is the house tour thank you for coming along with me um if you have any questions let me know put them in the comments below and please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video again if you are interested to stick around hit the subscribe button um, and watch me pay this house off with my husband in less than five years and it's actually less than four years now because it's almost 2021 what a wild year let me tell you. I'm sure you know. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season.